MLT statues. And uh, there are a lot of MLT statues that have been produced. Like, so we saw MLT statues in Boston that look like the tentacle thing. Well, the flag's exactly up. How long has that been up for? Quite a bit of line. Well, nothing there. Bait off. Nice. Welcome to Sunnenberg Outdoors. How many times have you been in your hut socializing or playing with your phone only to look out and see a flag is up? You don't know how long. You get to the line, there's a hundred miles of line out and no bait and no fish. In today's episode, I'm going to make a little mod to help uh, indicate when you have a bite, make an alarm, and hopefully get some more hookups and catch some more fish. Anyway, let's get at it. There's a few videos online for tip-up alarms, but this is the way I do it. First of all, you're gonna need a window door alarm sensor. This works with a, a reed switch and a magnet. You can buy these on eBay. I got these for uh, $16 for five, and they included the batteries. There's also quite a few on Amazon, a lot of different styles, costs. I'll take it out of the package here and show you. You have the main sensor unit, and you have the magnet. And when the door opens, or the window, or the tip up, the alarm goes off. Now if you open her up, this has three button batteries. They're LR44. Also, you notice this one, the switch is on the outside. The on off switch. Some of them come with the switch on the inside. I don't think you'd like that because every time you have a bite or whatever, you'd have to be playing around with the battery door to shut it off. Now, the magnet comes inside this little plastic case. Depending on uh, what kind of tip up you're going to use, you don't really need this. It works better just with the magnet alone. I'm going to do the finicky fooler as well as the beaver dam tip up. So what I do is I'll crack her open. There's your little magnet. So usually the magnet has to be lined up around the seam here of the battery uh, case in the main housing. So as you see, we'll turn it on. No alarm. When you get a bite, the reed switch inside opens up, activating the alarm. And when the magnet's in place, the reed switch closes and shuts off the alarm. Mounting the sensor unit uh, to the tip-up has never been a problem. Usually you have quite a bit of room. It has adhesive tape, but that's not good enough by itself. You could place it like that. Usually I take it apart. And as you see, there's a bottom. Once you get it all lined up, you can drill a couple holes put a couple little screws in, hold it in place. You don't have to worry about it when it gets banged around or whatever. Mounting uh, the magnet on the first ones I did was kind of a pain because I tried to epoxy the magnet right to the, uh, the flag shaft or the trigger itself. But after a while, I got an idea. Use a little alligator clip. These are cheap. You can find them all over. A little jumper wires or whatever. I'm sure some baby boomers from the 70s might have a few of these kicking around. Take the magnet, place it on top, and then you just epoxy. Now I used the JB Weld, Minute Weld, Fast Set, works pretty good. I've also used some Golf Epoxy. This is 24 hour set, this stuff's real good too, two part. But once you're done, you end up with something like this. And that just clips onto your, your flag or your trigger. Works pretty good. If you want to get fancy, you can put a little bit of heat shrink tubing around it. Okay, we're going to start with the Beaver Dam tip-up, which is quite similar to the HT and Fabril tip-ups that have the spring-loaded flag on them there. So we're going to clip on our magnet, and then we're going to take the sensor unit, and we're going to line it up here and size it up to see what's the best. That seems to be pretty good. Let's try it when you get a bite. You get the alarm. 
Like I said, it has the adhesive tape, but that doesn't do it. So what we'll do, we'll put a mark meter in so we know where we're at. Now I just happen to have it taken apart with our cover. Make sure you put it on the right way so the switch is on the outside. Now you can stick that down first if you want. And usually I drill one or two uh, little holes, put a couple little screws in just to hold her down. They're easy to take out if you ever, ever want to remove it. So once you have your sensor fastened down, we can now try to line her up. Take your magnet here. Now what beauty with this is you can adjust it in or out or up or down a little bit. It varies. We'll turn it on. See? Like that. So once the fish bites, you get your alarm. You should be able to hear it, it says nine. One other little trick uh, with these things, they're not made the best, is once you're all done, take some uh, crazy glue or UV glue and glue all the joints except for the battery compartment joint to help hold it together with the cold and the harsh conditions. Sometimes you bang them around, they can bust apart or whatever, they're not made the best. When I first started using this alarm, on the finicky fooler, I was epoxying the magnet right to the trigger shaft. It worked really well, as you can see, but it was kind of a pain to get that all lined up. Since I figured out the alligator clip method, I've went that way. And the only difference is you have to put the, uh, the sensor a little bit further away to make up for the extended distance of the alligator clip. So again, as always, leave switch on the outside. We'll line it up. Like that. When the fish bites, we'll take the little base and we'll line it up, drill our two holes, and then mount it uh, back down. Okay, we have our sensor mounted and our magnets in place. You can adjust it again just by sliding the alligator clip along the shaft or in and out a little bit. But if we were out on the lake, we'd hook the flag in, and when we got a bite, away she go. Now with this one, you can just flip the trigger back over, shut off the alarm, or you could use a switch. After filming the video, I got these sensors from Amazon in the mail. They're three for $26 Canadian. They're a much better quality. Uh, they work the same way with the existing uh, magnets that we set up earlier. They're even louder a little bit. They have an arrow to show you where it lines up with the magnet. A low battery indicator. They run on three LR44 batteries. You can take them apart to uh, screw them down to your tip up or I would even just uh, drill a little hole right here and put a little screw in there. They're a much better quality than uh, the ones I originally used. I'll put a link in the description for the two sensors. Oh, sounds like a bite on the fooler. Oh, he's ripping. He's ripping. Shut you off. Well, not bad. Lots of line. Oh, he's caught. Oh, a smallmouth. Wow. That's crazy. Chunky smallmouth, what do you think of that? Okay, we'll let you go. Well, there you have it. There's my little tip-up strike alarm. Hopefully it will get you more bites, maybe even a few more fish. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give her a thumbs up, maybe even subscribe. Until next time, punching out.